And welcome to Wisconsin Huddle presented by Network Health. I'm Zach Hanley alongside Tommy Walker. I have one very important question for you. What's so, up? You didn't want to join Brady Collins in the Lake Michigan after you guys won? <laughs> I really wanted my, my thing. I'm thinking we was all going to jump in, but he did tell us he was. When we got over there, there was just so many rocks. I was but like, okay. Like, you were actually going to jump in? I, I was ready to jump in, but it, when I walked over there, Lily was like, so many rocks. I'm like, they're not going to let us jump in here. <laughs> well, we'll have more on his jump later in the show. But it was a bring-your-own-juice type of environment on Saturday in Evanston. And the Badgers filled up their cups in all three phases of the game. The turning point was just before halftime. John Pius comes around the corner and knocks the ball loose. Elijah Hill dives on it. And the Badgers would turn the strip sack into points. Very next play, Braden Locke pitches it to Cade Iacomelli. And it's 14-0 Wisconsin. And that's all she wrote. You see it on, in all three phases. You see this, this complimentary ball. You see this opportunistic team that happens when you have poise and when you have some confidence. And this team, we're getting better. We know, we know where we need to go. We know we're not there. Um, but there's definitely a spirit. This three-game stretch has just let us catch our stride and, and let us just get things rolling and, and, and build confidence and then just play with confidence. And, you know, when you can do that, when you play with confidence, it, you know, it, it gets rid of a lot of things. The environment. Anytime you go to Northwestern, there's always a weird vibe, but this you're playing at basically a glorified high school stadium. What, what was that like? So that was my first time uh, at the facility, uh, general. But to me, it was, it was a, I liked the, I liked the environment. It was a different change right on the lake. The weather was amazing. Um, like it was a real outside feeling because our locker room was kind of like, out, yeah. It was like in a gym, kind of, but it was more room than any other vision locker room. So to me, it was better. But uh, kind of remind me back like in my junior college days. Didn't have a lot of fans there. My name is Darian Dupri, and this is the Iron Jock Player of the Week. Well, it's supposed to go to one Badger, but it was too hard to single out just one guy on a unit that dominated the Wildcats. So it's a defensive award this week. Lausch back to throw, stands at the goal line under duress, and it's a safety. Sebastian Cheeks and Kurt Neal are there. Not a pick six, but it's a safety. Mike Tressel's defense held Northwestern to nine first downs, 209 total yards, and just three points. And for that, the Badger defense is our Iron Jock Players of the Week, powered by Silver Ion Technology. It's what's inside. Well, now it's time for our Peps Draft House category draft. For pizza with big toppings and even bigger taste, you need to take it to the house. Tawi, we've played this before. You know the drill. Yeah. Four choices. Today's category, chips. Let's do it. You can go first. Got to go with nacho cheese Doritos is my first pick. Okay, that's your first pick? That's your favorite kind of Doritos? Yes, sir. All right. I'm also going Doritos, but I like Cool Ranch Doritos. That's a fair pick. Yeah. not mad at that. Second pick, barbecue Pringles. Got to go barbecue Pringles. Okay, so we're kind of on the same honey barbecue Frito twisties. Just little that, twisties. That's a good yeah. pick. I like that. Not okay. mad at that. Third pick, I would have to go the jalapeno Cheeto chips. Okay. Uh, All right. Fan of those. What about garden salsa sun chips? Now that's that's a crazy pick, but it's a good pick though. It's a good <laughs> pick. So that means you nah, don't really like it. That nah, means no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I know some big fans of that. All right. For sure. Sorry. Yeah. Last pick. I'll go to lemon lime hot Cheetos. Okay. Uh, Did not expect that. <laughs> so I'm gonna go sour cream and onion Pringles, but the key is you have to like mash them all up and then just like almost drink them out. Okay. You, How about that? Did you do that as a kid, or you yeah. still do that? What? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good pick, though. I'm not mad at that pick. All right, well, that's Pep's Draft House category draft, and you can play, too. Just head on over to Wisconsin Huddle's Instagram page and let us know your top four chips and who won this week's draft. We'll be right back. It's a big game, and not just because it's the next one on their schedule. Saturday, Wisconsin welcomes in third-ranked Penn State to town, and let's take a closer look at this series in this week's Network Health game plan for UW. The Badgers have lost eight of their last ten to the Nittany Lions, including five straight. Penn State comes in undefeated. Now the last time Wisconsin beat a top three team, October 16th, 2010, when they knocked off number one Ohio State. And this group is looking forward 
to that opportunity. It's an opportunity for us to show that we're a hell of a lot better team than what people think. Like, we're going out there this weekend to play, like you said, a top three team. And that's just an opportunity to show teams that it's not a fluke that we're, I don't know, we give like 15 points in the last how many games or something. As an OA team, you come here to die in October, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's kind of the approach I'm taking, man. I'm excited that it's a night game here. Um, I, I wouldn't rather be anywhere else. I know you guys don't listen to the outside noise. You don't really care about what's going on away from the football complex. But being an underdog at home to Penn State, does that kind of give you a little more motivation this week just to kind of prove the doubters, prove the haters wrong? Definitely, but I feel like most of the motivation is coming from uh, our most frequent games. We've been on a roll lately, uh, dominating every all three aspects of the game. And uh, they have to come in at 6.30 at night to a team that's hungry, a team that wants to win and is playing well, and like uh, to 80,000 fans jumping around. So I feel like all that plays a part in it. If there's one guy that brings the juice every single day, it's Brady Collins. He's the best in the business when it comes to strength coaches. But swimming, let's just say he didn't spend his summers at the Melrose pool learning from the best. His first mistake, no aqua socks. Hard to grip the rocks on the shore in tennis shoes. And then the entry in the water, kind of a cross between a shallow dive and a belly flop. Let's work on your cannonball next time. But once he got in, that's where he thrived. Look at those waves. No need to go to Noah's Ark. Just grab your floaty and have Brady get an arm workout in. Shamu has got nothing on him. And for the plunge into Lake Michigan, Brady Collins, you are our beast of the week. Favorite Halloween candy, uh, probably Reese's peanut butter cups. Um, and then the least favorite's the Red Hots. I hate those ones. Favorite Halloween candy would have to be, we go with Airheads, okay? And the bottom tier, absolutely trash. I forget the name, it's like, uh, was it gumdrops or something? Like the little button deals? I remember getting those as a kid, and I'm like, those things are god awful, dude. It's like waxy little, nah, it shouldn't even exist. It's not even Halloween candy, but like the sweet tart ropes that come in little packages go crazy. They go crazy. And as far as like dislike, I can't, I don't know. Maybe, I'm not a big coconut guy. Like mounds are decent. But anything other than mounds, I'm not, I'm not really digging it. Like the little, uh, the mots, not the mots, the, uh, what are those little like or mounds, like the little chewy candies that like get stuck in your teeth? Not a fan. Or, 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 or um, hot take, not even a hot take. Candy corn, thumbs down, not good. Favorite Halloween candy would be candy corn. Uh, my favorite Halloween candy has to be chocolate pretzels. Um, that's something I always, my mom always gave me when I was a little kid and I fall in love with them. It's gotta be milk chocolate though, not dark chocolate. Um, and then candy I don't like, I'm not a really big fan of Skittles, which I know is crazy because everyone loves them, but. Me personally, if I normally get Skittles, I'm normally trading with other people. I'll probably say Snickers. I'm a big like chocolate guy, so anything chocolate, I'll probably say Snickers and maybe like a Kit Kat. And something that I'll probably give away is probably like a Laffy Taffy, probably like the yellow one or something. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the banana ones. I'll say Twizzlers is my favorite candy right now. I've been for a long time. And then Almond Joys, every time I got those, I'll throw them right away. First one was uh, Almond Joys. If I got those, those go straight to my dad all, right, all day. Um, but my personal favorite was the Twix Bar. Uh, you know, as a lineman, we love our candy, so Twix Bar was always my favorite. And welcome back to Wisconsin Huddle, presented by a Network Health. Now it's time to play College Football 25. The last time we played, you set a show record and then went out on the field and had a career day. Yep. Nothing to it? Well, let's, let's try to do it again. All right, let's go. Oh, oh, no. Oh, my goodness. It's a great start. Fourth and goal. Uh-oh. We got it, though. Come on, big stop. We big got stop. it. Oh, this has got to be handoff. Got to be. You know it. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> well, you know, it's going to be a safety or a pick six, so it doesn't <laughs> really matter. 
Oh, we're on the, oh, this is not great. That's, that's why the defense got the, the award this week. Who's NFL running back that you, what's your style after, you think? Uh, you Adrian shape your game for sure. Adrian Peterson has to be the guy, yeah. definitely. He was okay. No, he was amazing. <laughs> he was more than okay. He was amazing. Oh, no, you uh -oh. read that. You read that. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh. This is why I gotta. This is this is why I gotta make that sub, cause my boy Q is blazing on this game. Fourteen nothing. Okay, okay. Let's, we're gonna make it twenty-one though. Oh, I saw you do that at <laughs> Northwestern. I saw you do that. What's that like when you you just kind of stop and you let that guy walk? Like, what are and, you thinking of it? And I ain't like when I when I first did it. I'm like, I can't wait to see that on film. That's, <laughs> that's my first thought. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. There we We've go. We've seen that move that's before, what, too. That's what, been, that's what I've been waiting on right there. Is that your celebration? Nah, I'm not. I'm not that. I, see, I can't dance that well. I've I kind of been boring with my celebrations. I've kind of just celebrated with my team, soaking it in with the team. I might bring something out this week, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, uh-oh. Who is that? Is that RJ? That, uh, I know that's not Rico. Who is this? Is it Nye right here? Let's go. Get it. Get it. Oh, yeah, Nye. Go around with it. So 22 to 8. I improved. Not for sure. It kind of helps that I was Penn State and not Rutgers. Right? Definitely. Definitely. So if you only score 22 points, <clears throat> so against Rutgers, what did you have? 198 yards? Yeah. And three touchdowns. Yeah. So then this Saturday, probably 125 yards, two touchdowns, one receiving, one rushing. How about that? Nah, let's go for let's go for 200. 200? Yeah. All right. We well, heard it here first. We'll be right back. And welcome to this week's Wisconsin Huddle Unleashed. I'm Zach Hanley, CJ Williams, and we're going to play Rock'em Sock'em Robots. How do you feel about this? Pretty dang good. good. Like a childhood favorite right here. Really? For okay. Sure. Sure. The odds are not in my favor. All right. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Two second knockout is crazy. Oh. That's beautiful. That's a good one. All right. Do you need to give him a pep talk or anything? Yeah, come on, man. Let's go. All right. Three, tell them off. Here we go. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, Got there it. you go. There you go. <laughs> All That's right, CJ. Good. When you're not playing football, what do you, how do you spend your time? Shoot, it's a good one. Watch movies. I love movies. I'm yeah. a big movie guy. What's your more comedy action? Christopher Nolan. Okay. I think he's the best What's director. What's your favorite movie? Oh, it's got to be Interstellar, right? Okay. All right. Everyone's favorite. Three, right. two. Got him. Oh! <laughs> Three. <Like> Ollie Bird. <laughs> Lissy. Sonny. <Two. laughs> Oh my god. You know what? Here. Yeah, let me Let's get the see. blue. Yeah. Let me get the blue bomber for once <laughs> in my life. <laughs> I'm a blue guy anyways. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> well, I think we gotta end it on that because uh, about six and one right there. CJ. One and six. Well, well you can't there's nothing to say. I don't there's nothing to do there. Yeah. Alright, well, for a red rocker, blue bomber, CJ, I'm Zach. More fun and games next week on Wisconsin Huddle on the And welcome back to Wisconsin Huddle presented by Network Health. The saying goes, look good, feel good, play good. And over the past three weeks, the Badgers have been feeling good because they're playing good. The look good part? Well, let's find out in this week's Feeling the Fit.
I can, I can get down with this one, man. Last last time I did this, I, I couldn't get down with what he had on. I like the tie a little different. You can see his ankles. He's trying to stay young a little bit. Yeah, I like it. It's not 9 out of 10 for me. 9 out of 10 for Coach Fick on this one. I like it. Mm, I don't know. I don't like the tie. That's not for me. But he's definitely a more serious guy than me. So, like, I'm a bow tie guy because I'm definitely, like, more goofy. But I'll give him a 6 out of 10. I'm not a suit guy. Straight tie, not for me. His pants don't go low enough. And I'm a brown shoe guy if I have to. Do, who dresses Coach Fick? Do we know yet? I give this one an 8.3. Really like a 6.3, but because we're in Illinois, the home state, it gets him a little bit more points for him. And he's doing a meme mug. The meme mug always makes the fit look a little bit better. So I'll go 8.3 with this one, 8.3. That might be the highest I ever gave him. All right, so we, what do you think of Coach Fix fit? Um, I like it, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I feel like, I think he got the same tie on as. Yeah, it seems uh, like his go-to tie. Yeah, I feel like he got to switch it up a little <laughs> bit. Uh, I w it got to be a lower rating than I did the other week, because I don't know if the, I just he don't got no color coordination. He got gray, white. <laughs> he got four different colors, five different. He got black, gray, white, blue, and red. I like how the suit fits though. I like how the pants are, are cut. I like I like how the suit fits, but I will probably give it a. A 6.5. 6.5? 6, like yeah. All right. So you, you wouldn't rock that? No, nah, it's not terrible. I, I like the fit of it, but just the color coordination. I'm not, not a big fan All of right. It. So things to work on, Coach Fick, if you're watching. <laughs> well, that's it for this week's Wisconsin Huddle. For Tommy Walker, I'm Zach Canley. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.